Hello guys, we're about one here and welcome to the future of Yu-Gi-Oh! A segment on my channel where I talk about cards that are coming out later on in the game and basically just discuss them, talk about their potential and where they're going to come. Where they're coming. Now, there was a lot of cards that were announced on the weekend. I was busy, I couldn't make a video about it. I was doing Christmas shopping. Uh, Christmas shopping for people. That's... the. Uh, is there? Oh, that doesn't sound good, so I'm going to have to deal with that. Um, I was doing Christmas shopping and stuff, so uh, I was dealing with all of the stuff like that. Um, but yeah, uh, there was a lot of cards announced, there was a lot of things to talk about, and basically today we are going to be doing that in this video called Not the, uh, the Future of Yu-Gi-Oh!, which I just discussed cards coming out later on in the game and just give my full opinion on them. So there is a lot of cards to talk about, so we're going to get straight into this. Into this, There's a new Firewall, there's uh, one of the new archetypes that were released, the one with the smug little gal and the other cards as well. And there was some new Destiny Hero support as well, which was, which, um, one of the cards, which might be very good. So let's get into this, because I've got, I've got, I've got to, uh, I want to talk about this. So the first look at Dark Neo Storm. So XC set. Um, and the first first card is a firewall dragon. That is a firewall dragon with a big X on it, saying that it is an XC's firewall dragon. He was gone. He's back. Let's see what he can do. All right. So he is file XC'd dragon, uh, rank four dark uh, cybers effect XC's effect monster. 2500 attack, 2000 defense, takes two plus level four monsters. Two plus. This card gains 500. Uh, sorry, this XC summon card gains 500 attack, X the combined link rating of link monsters that are linked to this card. So you've got a link monster pointing to it, it gains an extra 2000 attack. So potentially it would could be of up to anywhere upwards of twenty uh, of any and actually anywhere upwards of three five majority of the time because you're not really going to summon this with a monster that has less than a link to rating um, normally. Uh, but its next effect is you can detach two exceed materials from this card, uh, then target one link for cybers link effect link monster. In your graveyard, special summon it to a zone this card to your field so that it points to this card. Also, you cannot special summon monsters or, or attack directly for the rest of the turn. That effect is bad. You want to know why? Link for Cyverse. There's only one Cyverse in the game that we could summon right now that would be able to link to this, which would be Gumbla. You can't attack directly. And you cannot special summon monsters after you've activated this effect. Like, that's not good. That's not good. Like, this, like, it's it's a got a decent effect, I'll give it that. Being able to summon the Gumblar back is kind of good. Um, if it said any Cyverse Link monster, um, not, but not just Link 4, uh, I would give it some ratings, but... That effect just isn't good enough, in my opinion. If we had Firewall still, maybe, then you could have Firewall with Firewall point next to each other and be like, hey, what's good, Firewall? Um, but honestly, it's not good enough. It's not good enough, in my opinion. Uh, next is Solomon Great Recurrence. Uh, this is a normal spell card. Uh, you can only use this card's first and second effect all once per turn, uh, once per turn each. Uh, target two Solomon Great monsters with different names in your graveyard. Add them to your hand. Great effect. Um, just being able to add back air the uh, gazelle or or the oh, what's the one that can foolish barrel? There's one that can, no, the gazelle is the one that can foolish barrel. Um, just being able to get add back the gazelle or any other Solomon Great card is actually really nice. So that's a great effect. Effect and the set card is destroyed by card effect and sent to the graveyard you can add one solomon gray card spell card from your deck to your hand uh this effect is really good as well because you can say as a bluff it's, it's destroyed but if it's destroyed by opponent's card effect or your own card effect even then you just get to add a free solomon great spell card most likely the one that searches solomon great monsters um which is actually really cool 
Uh, but it's that second effect isn't what you're going to really be using this for because you're going to want to be using it more for the set, the first effect, but you can add the multiple settlement graves from your graveyard to your hand. So that's actually a really good card. Uh, next, we have Autogeist fin, Finella. Uh, Fifinella? Fifinelag? I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, it's a level 2 dark spell cast a tuner effect monster. Zero attack, 1000 attack. Uh, sorry, defense. Uh, your opponent cannot target autogeist monsters you control for attacks or with card effects except autogeist Fifin. Fifine. I don't know how to pronounce that. Fifine. Fif, Fifine. Fifine. I'm sorry, pronunciation is rubbish. Um, uh, basically, this is your August Tuna Monster. Um, when we get the Autogast Synchro Monster revealed, which will probably be in this set as well, um, we'll know, we'll, we'll get that, we'll know what this does. Um, personally, this card isn't great. Um, now, if it said can't attack, just can't attack August Monsters other than this card, um, that would be pretty nice, but seeing as if you control two of these, one is still dying, it's not great. It's not great. Um, but it's not terrible. You could summon it with Faker, then go into a Synchro 5. Um, you could summon it with... You could normal summon Marionette, somehow summon this uh, with from a Faker as well, then make the All Guys level 6 Synchro whenever we get it. So it is not the worst. It's not the worst. It's a. It's decent. It's decent. Um, and last for these cards is Dino Wrestler Chimera T Rexel. Um, it's a level eight few level eight Earth Dinosaur Fusion Effect Monster. Three thousand five hundred attack, zero defense. One Dino Wrestler Link Monster and one plus Dino Wrestler Monsters. Um, it's got a lot of effects. Uh, if this card battles, your opponent cannot activate spell or traps until the end of the damage step. So can't be mirror forced. All right. If this card attacks a defense pitch monster, effect piercing death battle damage. Okay. Boss monster. Uh, your opponent cannot select other monsters for attacks. Alright. If this card destroys a monster by battle, uh, it gains 500 attack. Permanent. Okay. Okay. Pretty good. Um, if this card is destroyed by a card effect, to destroy all attack position monsters your opponent controls. So... On destruction, but from your opponent's card effect, um, not mirror force. It's all right. It's not great, but it's it's all right. It has potential. Um, if if Dino Wrestlers get a link one, um, then I could see this d doing a lot um, in that deck. But Dino Wrestlers just aren't that good a deck right now for me to actually say that this will be a, def a definite good truck card. But Pankratrops is amazing, so you know. <laughs> One Dino rest of the card is good, at least. Um, so next, the next cards we're going to be talking about, which is the new World Legacy cards, which there are some broken World Legacy cards here. Um, this one, is, this card is cool, and this card looks very cool. Uh, but let's let's talk about what we got here. So, uh, Astro Nightmare Idly, 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 which is this one right here. Um... 2100 attack, 2100 defense, level 9, dark fairy effect monster. Um, you can only use this card's name's first and second effect monster per turn. If the total link rating of monsters on the field is 8 or more, quick effect, you can special summon this card from your hand. During your opponent's turn, right? So, opponent extra links, special summon this. Pretty cool. Um... If this card is special summoned by an, your opponent's, uh, but and your opponent controls more link monsters than you do, send all link monsters on the field to the graveyard. Level one, nine monsters you control cannot be destroyed by card effects. It's a hand trap that can't be pulled by the grave and says, go away to extra links. a bit late, but this will deal with the problems that are to come. A bit late, but it will deal with problems. Ah, oh, perfection. Perfection. Alright. 
So this is basically a broken new card that we'll get, and it will do a lot for the game when to stop like extra linking and stuff. This will be a mandatory side deck in any format where an extra link is possible. Um, next though, which is this one's right here, World Legacy Guard Dragon Melodark. Melodark. Okay, it's another level nine Wind Dragon effect monster. Twenty six hundred attack, three thousand defense. Can only use the first and third effect eat once per turn each. Uh, you can banish two normal monsters from your hand and slash or graveyard. Especially summon this card from your hand. Monsters your opponent controls lose 500 attack and defense for each dragon monster you control. So instantly on summon, all your opponent monsters are losing 500 attack and defense. If this card on the field is destroyed by battle or card effects, you can add what you can add one level nine monster with a different original attribute and type from this card from your deck to your hand. Now I'm going to say it after I've read all the cards, but this is this these are just really good for specific deck. All right, we got this is X Crawler. <laughs> Bloody hell, Deus Ex Crawler, or Deus Ex Machina, now that I just realized that. That's a Deus Ex Machina right there, so Deus Ex Crawler, which is a level 9 insect flip effect monster. 2,000 attack, 3,000 defense. Uh, you can only use this card's third effect once per turn. When an, opponent's monster, when an opponent's card or effect is activated that targets this face down card, quick effect, you can change this card to your, this card to, to your face up defense position and get the activation, and if you do, destroy it. I believe that's the same as Big Shield Gardener, so it's basically got that effect for you. Um, if this card was flipped face up, negate all activated monster effects your opponent controls. Nice. If this card on the field is destroyed by battle card effect, you can add one level 9 monster with a different attribute and original type from this card, from your deck, to your hand. So it's got the same effect as the world like as the guard dragon right here and finally world legacy Berg burgening Ber burgening burgening uh this this card right here and this is one of the cards that make me think this the, these new support is broken okay so it's a quick play spell card you can only activate one card with this card's name per turn activate one of these effects Special summon one level nine monster from your hand. Okay, not that good, right? But the second effect is target one level nine monster you control. Special summon two level nine monsters with different names, with original types and attributes different from that target's targets from your deck. But they cannot attack. Also, they are destroyed during the end phase. So incorporate these in a true king deck summon a true king target true king summon x crawler idly or world legacy and then make vfd make any rank nine make broken stuff with this and world let and true kings that sounds pretty good to me like let's kill the true kings am i right am i right <laughs> um uh but yeah this these cards right here these cards right here will have a lot of an impact on the uh true king deck because every one of these cards has synergy with true kings they all have the ability to special some they all have the ability to well, not well. I don't actually. Crawler doesn't have a way to summon itself, does it? No. Crawler. They all have the ability to actually get out of the deck, though. This can just banish normal monsters. This can be summoned off the spell card, and the spell card just gives you everything. So, like, it's it's really good, honestly. Like, you just play the True Kings, you play three of the spell card, um, and you play like two of each of these, except for maybe the Crawler, which isn't the best, but you might still play it as a one off. Um, and it just gives you instant VFD access. And VFD is a card that just says you can't play the game. You know Rongo Bongo right now? This is the same thing. Can't play the game. But yeah, these cards, these all these cards actually have a lot of synergy with the True Kings. And if you guys have any ideas to play this, play it with True Kings. It will help a lot. Um, so next we have some Destiny Hero cards that we were announced. So 
Destiny Fusion, no, sorry, Fusion Destiny. Uh, fusion is on one fusion monster that lists a Destiny Hero monster as a fusion material from your extra deck. Using monsters from your hand or deck as fusion materials. Shadow Fusion. Shadow Fusion. But destroy it during the end phase. For the rest of the turn, after this card resolves, you cannot special monsters except Dark Hero monsters. So, Miracle, uh, sorry, Shadow Fusion for Destiny Heroes. That's a pretty good. That's a pretty good. Um, I don't, I, I feel, I don't like how it has to be destroyed during the end phase, but it doesn't matter because if you've got another poly, then you can just fuse that away and then, or just link it away or just turn it into anything that isn't the, the Destiny Hero monster and then just go further. Like, like, and you can use both materials from your deck. So send a dangerous or a malicious, summon the malicious, then go into a sold. Like, this is a one card of sold, technically. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, honestly, guys. That that like this card is actually really good. Um but yeah, we have more Destiny Hero support. Uh Destiny Hero Draw Guy. Uh, Dark Warrior effect monster, 600 attack, 800 defense. Uh, if this card is special summoned by a hero monster's effect, you can have what you you can have each player draw one card. Don't like this, should only be you drawing one card. Don't like that at all. Um, but if you've got Dark Lore, I suppose it's fine. Uh, during the next standby phase, after this card was sent to the graveyard, you can special summon this card from your graveyard, but banish it if it leaves the field. So. You get another draw essentially if you've got dark law then it makes it even better uh but in general i don't think this card is that great for destiny heroes um more destiny heroes support and super quantum support uh so we've got a fusion a link and a trap uh destiny hero dom domageddy dominant guy dominant guy uh level 10 dark warrior fusion effect uh, 2900 attack, 2600 defense. Uh, free Destiny Hero monsters. You make it. Uh, you can only use this card's name first, second, and third effect once per turn. During your main phase, you can look at the top five cards of either players of either deck and return them to the top of the deck in any order. You can look at the top five cards of either player's deck and return them to the deck in any order. I'm going to stack your deck, and you ain't winning this game no more. <laughs> just, just make them have a bad top deck. Uh, when this card destroys a monster by battle, you draw one card. So if you stack yourself, then you can essentially get whatever you want as a search by destroying a monster. I haven't read this card, by the way. Uh, if this fusion summon card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can target three level 9 or lower Destiny Hero monsters, with different names in your graveyard, special summon them. Huh. Huh. <laughs> That's pretty good. You can just summon three monsters, make an assault day, go into that, use the assault day, send some cards to the graveyard, go further and further and further, and then win the game. This is a pretty good card. There are pretty good cards in this deck, and honestly, this, these are amazing. These are... These, like, this is an amazing card. I didn't even read this. Like, stack the opponent's deck, basic search if I destroy a monster, and I get materials back if they... I get things back if they kill it. That's pretty good. <laughs> like, that's actually really, really good. I honestly love that effect. Um, so next is the ex extra hero cross guy. So this one right here. Let's get a good look at him. Oh, he's looking very crossy. He reminds me of um, the X, X from Teen Titans, the original Teen Titans, not Go. Go is trash. Um, so it is a Link to Dark Warrior effect monster, uh, 600 attack bottom left, bottom right with its arrows, and needs two warrior monsters, so it's generic. Uh, you can only activate this card's names first and second effect per turn, uh, uh, once per turn each. You cannot switch some monsters during the turn you activate any of these effects, except hero monsters so it basically locks you down into heroes because heroes can actually help with so much good stuff um but yeah that requirement is kind of needed 
if this card is linked summoned, you can target one Destiny Hero monster in your graveyard special to summon it. So basically recurs materials that you use to make it. Um, you can tribute one Destiny Hero monster, uh, add one hero monster with a different name from that the tributed monster from your deck to your hand. So Shadow Mist, Stratos, uh, Bubble Man, um, Avion? You can add any of them to your hand. So that's that, that basically gives you free resources right there. Um, all right. And then we've got D Tactics. By the way, this card's decent. For Destiny Heroes in general, this is a decent card. Um, I'll test this. I'm going to be testing Destiny Heroes a bit. Uh, Destiny Heroes aren't really my forte, but Elemental Heroes are. But I still love Heroes in general. So I will be trying out Destiny Heroes on stream probably. Um, so next, D Tactics. Uh, continuous trap card. Uh, you can only use the first, second, and third of this card's effect per turn, or it was one each. Uh, during the standby phase, all hero monsters you control gain 400 attack. So, each standby phase, all my monsters are gaining 400 attack. So, that's a continual boost. So, on activating your opponent's turn 400, your own turn comes around 800. Okay. By level 8 or higher, Destiny Hero Monster on the feet. Or oh, Destiny End Dragon. Okay, Dragoon. So that's the one that uses uh, Plasma and the free fall guy that names escapes me. Uh, it's special summoned to your field. You can banish one card from your opponent's hand, field, or graveyard. Okay. That's not targeting as well. That's pretty good. All right. If this card is destroyed by card effect in the spell and zone, you can have one Destiny Hero Monster from your deck to your hand. That's not bad. Um, it being a trap is really slow, but that's not actually that bad. You get to banish a card for free and it doesn't target. If it dies, you get to search any Destiny Hero Monster from your deck, and each standby phase, all Hero Monsters are gaining 400 attack. That's actually pretty good. Um, it's got its own synergy, and it's actually got a lot of stuff that can help you, but that's not bad. Um, it's, not ama it's not amazing, but... It's decent. I, w I would consider playing it at one or maybe two, um, but be because it's slow, maybe le maybe not. But um, we've also got the Destiny Hero Miracle Fusion, so maybe, maybe uh, we'll see, we'll see. But that's that's not half bad. That's not half bad at all. Um, so next we have the Super Quantum Layer, the new Super Quantum cards, these lovely ones, um, and we start off with Super Quantum White Layer which is a level 7, 2400 attack, 2400 defense. You can only use this card's names first, second, and third effect once per turn. A lot of that on this page. Um, you can send one Super Quantum Monster from your hand or face up from your field to the graveyard, except a Light Monster, especially from this card, from your hand in defense position. Free summons. Okay. When this card is normal summon slash special summoned, you can send one Super Quantum Monster from your deck to the graveyard, and if you do, this card's, this card's attribute and type becomes the same as that monster's. So it can change its types and attributes to be able to fit any of the Super Quantum XC monsters. Uh, this card is sent to the graveyard. You can add one Super Quantum Fairy Alphon from your deck to your hand. Uh, deck or graveyard to your hand, sorry. So this is Alphon in a suit. That's what I'm getting from this. Alphon in a suit. All right, uh, so let's look at the next card. Super Quantum Alpha Cool. Alpha and Cool. Uh, it's a quick play spell card. When a Super Quantum Monster you control is destroyed by battle, special summon one Super Quantum Mech Beast XCs monster from your deck, then special summon from your extra deck, then special summon one Super Quantum whose name is listed on that mo XCs monster's, next, monster's text from your deck, hand, or graveyard, but its effects are negated. If it's said by just destroyed it'd be really good but it's not great because it says by battle it's a good card it's a good card but it's not the best it's all right it's all right best and finally super quant quantal uh, combination mega magna formation can magna formation it's a continuous trap you can only use the second phase once per turn during your main phase, your opponent cannot target Super Quantum card, Super Quantum cards on the field with card effects. Uh, okay, so you can't target this card either. Um, 
you can target one Super Quant XC's monster you control, attach one other face up monster you control to it as XC's material. Okay, so this is a way to get more materials under Great Magnus. Not bad, not bad, okay. Uh, Super Quantum Support, it's all right. It could have, some, it could be better, personally, but it's not the worst. It's not the worst. Um, the white layer, I can see that being very good for the deck, um, but I don't see it doing a lot. Uh, the spell card, if it said destroyed by anything, it'd be pretty good. And the trap is a trap, so it's inherently slow. But not bad. Same with the Destiny Hero stuff, like the Link monster is very good, the Fusion monster is very good. Um, this this card right here is amazing. Um, and yeah, there's just a lot of stuff that's uh, interesting. So next we have some legacy support, um, which we, we have a lot. So we have a for hire. Uh, so Philo, Messenger for hire. Uh, zero attack, zero defense, link level one. So you can one for one it, which is nice. Um, be winged beast, quick effect monster. You can only use first and second effect once per turn each. Uh, during your main phase, you can special on one for hire monster from your hand, except that messenger for, the messenger for hire. Um, same effect as every for hire. Um, if a mo monster if a monster for hire is special summoned to your field while you control this monster, except during the damage step, you can target one monster uh, for hire in your graveyard, special summon it in defense position, but place it on the bottom of the deck if it leaves the field. It's not the worst. It's not something you would play at free. Uh, if you want for one it, it's bloody amazing. Um, but it's not the best. It's decent, but it's not the best. Uh, next we have Yuki Mus Yuki Musume, the Ice Mayakashi. So another Mayakashi card. Okay, uh, level one, so it can be one for ones. So Water zombie. Uh, zero attack, 1900 defense. Uh, you can only use this card's first effect once per turn. If this card is in your hand or graveyard, while you control a Mayakashi card other than Yuki Musume, the Ice Mayakashi, you can special summon this card, then send one zombie monster from your deck to the graveyard. What? That's a foolish burial. You can just send Unizomi to the graveyard, then special summon this. Sorry, Mizuki. That's insane. Bloody hell. Uh, you cannot special summon monsters, special summon from your extract except my Akashi monsters. That doesn't even matter. We're just gonna bone towers loop them. That's insane. Okay. Um, incantation Secret Study. Uh, field spell can only use the first. Can only activate one card with this name per turn. Uh, when this card is activated, you can reveal one incantation monster from your hand. If you do, special summon two monsters with the same name as that monster from your deck and shuffle the revealed monster into the deck. Okay, that's pretty good. Just two free monsters and the incantate. I can't. I don't remember if it's if you control them or not, but the. But the incantations have a clause where you can't special summon from the extract. So I, I, this is nonetheless broken because it does do a lot for ritual decks. Uh, once per turn, if a ritual monster is special summoned to your field, you can target one card on the field, destroy it. Yeah, that's less relevant. That's less relevant. This though is very good. This is very good. Um, Magical Musketeer, Bloody Crown. I want to say Mary, but sure. Uh, continuous trap. Uh, you can only activate this uh, activate this card's name's second effect once per turn. All right. You can only control one face up magical musketeer bloody crown. Okay. Uh, during your during your main phase, the main phase, you can special summon one magical musketeer monster from your hand. And if you do, and if you do, and if your opponent controls opponent's mon main monster zone in the same column, the special summon monster zone is unused. It cannot be used until the end of this turn. Um, and if you do, and if your opponent's main monster zone in the same column, monster zone is unused. <coughs> Sorry, it cannot be used. Oh, okay, so you special summon to your opponent's field, your field, and you can lock out a zone. 
So you can look at a linked zone, you can look at a main monster zone. Um, that's not bad, but I would rather, but it it's not great either. Like getting out of the mind, getting them out of your hand is the main thing, I suppose. All right. Uh, so the weather rainbow Bowie canvas. Okay. Uh, continuous strap. You can only use. You can only control one face up weather rainbow canvas per turn. So this is weathery support. Uh, the weathery mon the weather affects monsters in the main in your main monster zone on the field uh, and adjacent columns gain this effect. If your opponent's controls a monster quick fetch, you can banish this card from some one weathery monster with a different name from your cards from this cards from your deck. Also, you cannot special monster from the rest of this from your deck for the rest of this turn. What? You just get to summon a free monster from deck. That's dumb. Okay. Free advantage, anyone? All right, all right. Um, sure. Uh, so this basically uh, lets you gain free monsters. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay. So that's basically lets you get to whatever the hell you want in your deck. And... Finally, bit of support on this is Chain Hole. Normal trap card. Uh, when your opponent activates a monster effect in a chain response to a card of, or effect, activation negate that activation. Then your opponent can banish one card with the same original name as the negated cards from their hand or deck. If they do, you can banish one random card from your opponent's hand. So when your opponent activates a, a monster effect in, the chain, in a chain response to this to a card or effect activation, so if your opponent would activate a monster effect to negate something, negate the activation, then your opponent can banish one card. Uh, your opponent can banish one card with the same original name as the negated cards from their hand or deck. If they do not, you can banish one random card from your opponent's hand. So. Either your opponent banishes a copy of the card, or they lose a card. That's all right. That's all right, actually. That's not terrible. It's got its advantages. It's got its disadvantages. It's got some really good perks to it. All right. Um, now for the last bit of news, guys. The last cards that we are going to be talking about. The new archetype, the new part, the new theme, which is the Cursed Eye. Um, okay, so... Uh, the the cards of the the cards of of one of the three themes uh, identified in Fertility Kaiser is revealed. Okay, um, cursed eye, death scalpel, sickle. Uh, so that would be this one, I assume. Other cards look really nice. All right. Uh, so we're looking at the level four monster. So this one right here, uh, sixteen hundred attack and fourteen hundred defense. You can only use the second effect with this card's name once per turn. If this card is normal summoned, you can add one Cursed Eye card from your deck to your hand, except Cursed Eye, Death Sequel, Sorrow. Okay. So this is the Deneb, uh, or the Stratos, if you will. Uh, while, you, while Cursed Eye of Se Selina is equipped to this card, <clears throat> Quick effect, you can target one special summon monster your opponent controls, destroy that monster. Alright. I'm sure I'm assuming this is the Cursed Eye of Selena. So this is just an, a freed removal, which is really good. And it's quick effect, so you can do it during your opponent's turn. During the next turn by phase, after this card's second effect is activated, destroy one card you control. Okay. So you've got to kill something you control, and you've also got to kill something you're. You can kill something your opponent controls, but you can also kill, you have to kill something you control. There best be a worthy trade for that. Um, so cast I King, Zara Chill. Uh, so that's the Link Free. Uh, so Link Free Dark Fiend effect, Link Effect Monster, twenty six hundred attack. Arrows is top center, bottom left, bottom right. Uh, two plus cursed Iron Monsters. Okay. Um. You can only use the second effect of this card's name only once per turn. Uh, if this card was Link Summoned using a Monsters with 2600 or more attack as material, this card can this card can make an a second attack during the standby phase. So, so if you use itself and two other Cursed Eyes, you can gain an additional attack. 
okay. Um, maybe this will turn out with some, like Simon Grades, where they'll get a card that lets them link with a single monster, with that with a copy of the same card. Maybe. Um, while Cursed Eye of Selene is equipped to this card, uh, quick effect, you can target one card your opponent controls, destroy it. During the next standby phase, after this card's second effect is activated, you get the effects of one effect monster this card points to. Um, okay. So, if nothing points to it, you don't have to negate it. Cool. Sure. Uh, Cursed Eye of Selene. So, that's the thing that equips to all of these. Uh, you can only use the third... The third effect of this card's name points per turn. Uh, the equipped monster cannot be destroyed by battle or your opponent's card effects. Also, it cannot be targeted by your opponent's card effects. Okay. So this isn't quick equipped only to a cursed I'm okay, cool. That's the only equipped to a cursed I'm monster. Uh, each time you activate the equipped monster's effect of act. Or activate another cursed eye spell or trap card. The equipped monster gains 500 attack, and if it does, you lose 500 life points. Okay, so you're essentially doing a merrick and taking your life points and infusing it into the monster. All right. Um, if this card ends in your graveyard, you can pay 1,000 life points, then banish one cursed eye spell or trap card from your graveyard, except cursed eye of Selene. Set this card. All right. So first impressions of this archetype. First impressions of this archetype. Um, it's not that great. Uh, I think the, I think the Link monster is decent. Um, but I feel like the 2600 or more attack point monster is never going to happen. Unless they have a card that allows you to just Link straight with a same copy of itself. Um, target opponents want, target one card your opponent controls and destroys. It's not that powerful. Plus you have to have the equip spell to be able to do it. Um, this is nice because it can add the curse side directly from your deck. Um, of Selene, um, but nonetheless, you still have to destroy a card during the next standby phase if you've activated its second effect, and being able to destroy a special summon monster isn't the best either, because of if you have to, if you use it on your own turn, then it will leave the board on your opponent's turn. So, it's th this archetype isn't terrible, it's got its own perks, it's got its own uh, unique strategies, but it's not the best archetype in my opinion. Um, but yeah, guys, from all these cards that we've looked at, from everything we've seen, there is a lot of good stuff coming out. Like we've got the new Firewall, which isn't the best, but has its own perks. I personally think it's not that good or really bad. But being able to make a big beat stick out of a Link Monster is always really nice. Um, we've got the new uh, World Legacy support that works really well with the True Kings. Um, we've got the new Destiny Hero cards, which honestly are amazing, in my opinion. The Link Monster is really good for Destiny Heroes. This card in general is just free assault a material um in great uh, this card isn't that good um we've got all this cool new legacy support the fahai is all right the mayokashi is a foolish barrel for a mizuki for christ's sake that's amazing um and we've got the cursed eye monsters which aren't actually that bad um but what do you guys personally think of these cards do you think they're good do you think they're bad i personally think there's a lot of good ones the destiny heroes especially they have a lot of great new support um the cursed eye depending on what they get they could be a lot better but from first impressions they're not that good of an archetype um but yeah guys that's just my personal thoughts on all these pit cards and cards um tell me what you thought of them in the comment section below tell me what you think of the future of Yu-Gi-Oh segment on my channel tell me if you want to see more videos like this um Tell me if you enjoyed it, like the video if you enjoyed it. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to press the subscribe button. Subscribe for more content like this. Uh, if you want to be notified of that content, don't forget to press the notification button as well, or be notified of streams. I do that at normally 8 p.m. UK time uh, on Thursday afternoons. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, tell me what you think of all these cards in the comment section below. I personally feel like a lot of them are good. Like the Destiny Hero support is great. The Super Quantum support is interesting. Um, the All this legacy support is kind of good. This Trap Hole card is decent as well. Um, and you've also got the World Legacy support that really does do well for the True Kings as, as well as the self. Um, but yeah, guys, that's the video. Tell me what you think of it. Uh, I personally think all the support is great and there is a shine over my my lens. I'm sorry, I didn't notice that. Um, but yeah, guys, that's the video. Thanks for watching. Rob Bat one signing out. Later, guys. Great support. I'm going to be testing Destiny Heroes.